Welcome to learning with the Pomodoro Technique. In this video, we'll introduce you to this simple strategy for effectively and efficiently approaching your academic tasks by single tasking. We've all heard of multitasking, but it might surprise you to know that single tasking is a far better way of getting our work done. Single tasking entails removing distractions such as people, phones, and social media, and committing to pay full attention to the one academic task at hand. Research shows that when you can fully focus on a single task, you will improve your productivity, feel less stress, and maybe even enjoy your work. The idea behind the Pomodoro technique is to create as much flow time as possible by single tasking. By deliberately postponing any distractions that can't be ignored entirely, you encourage your brain to spend more time in that flow state. The Pomodoro Technique was developed in the 1980s, and since then, it's become a widely popularized learning tool. Its name comes from the tomato-shaped kitchen timer used by the method's inventor, Francesco Cirillo. The word Pomodoro means tomato in Italian. There are apps and websites that can help you get started, like pomofocus.io, but it's so easy, you'll be able to start yourself by the end of this video. Step 1. Decide on the task you want to complete. Keep it small and manageable. Don't try to cram all of your studying in at once. For example, let's imagine your task at hand is reading chapter one in your psychology textbook. Step two, eliminate distractions. Go to your where, that learning space where you can minimize distractions and focus on your task. Have out only the materials you need for that particular work or study session. Most importantly, Make sure to silence your phone and preferably move it out of sight to maximize your attention. Using airplane or do not disturb mode can also be helpful before you begin. If your task is online, turn off all email, app, or chat notifications on your device and consider also using a website blocker like Freedom or Cold Turkey to further minimize interruptions. Eliminating distractions is important if you want this technique to work. Next, set a timer for 25 minutes. After your timer begins, start working on your task and only this task. If your task is reading chapter one, don't rush into starting chapter two. Hold yourself accountable for this time and work at a comfortable pace. Step five. When the timer rings, stop working and take a five minute break. This time is a reward for the work you've just done, so use it how you like. We recommend using restorative tasks, such as stretching, getting a drink, or having a quick snack for your break time. Be as strict with your breaks as you are with your work. Don't cut your break time short or skip a break. Step six, as soon as your five minute break is up, immediately return to working on your task. Start another 25 minute Pomodoro, followed by another five minute break. Once you've completed three or four of these 25 minute Pomodoros, or you've completed your task, take a longer break for 15 to 30 minutes. So to recap, Work in 30-minute cycles with 25 minutes of academic time on task and 5-minute breaks between each of your Pomodoros with a longer break once you've done a few cycles. Like any study strategy, the Pomodoro method can and should be modified to fit your learning style and your individual circumstances. If you want to make your Pomodoro shorter or longer, do so. Just remember to minimize distractions, listen to your mind and body, recognize and celebrate your output, and restore yourself at your own pace. Consider adding Pomodoro sessions to your weekly planner or schedule to maximize your efficiency throughout the week. That's it. You've now seen how to single task with the Pomodoro technique. Now it's time to practice this strategy yourself. For more information on academic support resources and strategies, visit us at usm.maine.edu agile.